Hey everybody, this is Doug with Artfully Rogue. So, I recently finished a big project of a wrought iron gate. Robin and I here in the shop, we needed to create an arch on the top of the gate. Now, at first I took a measurement to my metal supplier and I had them bend it, but the arch wasn't steep enough for me. Uh, as you can see here in the picture, it really kind of goes more to a point than it is an arch. So we figured, oh, we'll try to bend it here in the shop. Now, keep in mind, this is two inch by two inch uh, square tubing. And when we put it into our Harbor Freight metal roller, um, as you can see, oh my gosh, this thing was just brutal. There was just no way that we were gonna get, you know, seven feet of this two inch uh, square stock to bend as much as we needed it to. So we had the idea after some searching online at YouTube that we would take a Harbor Freight metal pipe threader and modify it so it could actually turn the Harbor Freight metal roller. This is what took place. We took a look at what came with the pipe threader. A one inch die, a three quarter inch die, a half inch die, the pipe threader, and an inch and a quarter die. Our first thought was to thread the shaft on the roller. However, we quickly realized that would be harder than we thought as the shaft was hardened steel. Although it did try and cut a thread, we opted to kind of go in a different direction. We decided to use the half inch die for the job. We removed the top plate and then removed the thread cutting pieces. Keep those in a safe place in the event you might have to use them later. We made a separate top plate and drilled the same hole pattern as the die and then welded it onto the shaft. Then it was just a matter of attaching the shaft with the top plate to the threader die. To ensure the shaft stayed center, we drilled and tapped some holes in the base of the die. We reassembled the modified shaft into the roller and two inch die. Tightened up the set screws and it spins like a charm. We added a piece to the keeper shaft to help stabilize the threader. The main die shaft and the keeper travel as one. To install the threader, simply slide it onto the keeper and the die on the main shaft. Tighten the keeper nut and give the threader a quick test. You can use a tire lug wrench or a ratchet to adjust the tension on a roller, whichever one you have handy. We ran a test using 2 inch by 3 16 flat steel and as you can see it made quick work of bending the steel. Next we ran a piece of 1 inch by 065 square tubing through the roller. We actually used the 2 inch dies as that was our ultimate goal with the roller. We ran some 2 inch square tubing with 065 wall and there was a noticeable change in how hard the threader was working but it powered through it and as I change directions, you can see the threader really dig in. The result was that we totally mangled the tubing to a point there was just no way we could use it on the gates. But we did get the arch that we were looking for and we could take that to the steel yard and they could match that. So while our attempt at trying to bend the two inch steel uh, failed, we did learn something. One, we did get the arch that we needed, and so I was able to take that piece back to my metal shop. They could do it hydraulically. We also went to a thicker walled steel tubing. Uh, I believe we did a, uh, a 1.20 wall as opposed to an 065, which is really kind of thin to be bending anything with. Um, and they were able to bend the steel the way we needed it to, to fit the gate. And as you can see in the comparison photos, it looks much better to have the proper arch in place. And while our attempt to make an electric bender wasn't a complete failure, we were able to bend some smaller tubing, like we're doing one inch square tubing on the bender now. And that seems to do fine. So there might be a few more modifications that we make in the future, but right now for us, it seems to be working kind of fine. 
Have you done anything different to make things easier for you in the shop? Go ahead and post those down in the comment. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. It is greatly appreciated. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. And if you have done some modifications in your shop with maybe your metal roller, post those in the comments and let me hear what you did. And I'd like to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, Barry and Marlene Rush, Judy Clothier, and Fun Kiss Artistic Creations. We'll see everybody in the next video.